so now we have seen how to solve a simple recognition relation right so what i will do now i will tell you the way how to write an algorithm and how to create recognition relation out of it and how we can solve mathematically so that we can say this is the time complexity of the algorithm right on paper and that's how we actually optimize the algorithm so say as we i have seen uh, written in this series only i will quickly write factorial program right so means algo pseudo code of factorial so recursive program of factorial was if i am finding a factorial of some number factorial of n what i will check if number is equal to 1 right then return 1 return 1 right for detailing of it you can see recurrence uh, recursion video actually in this series only and otherwise else return return n into factorial n minus 1 right so this was the recursive program actually right so this was the recursive program right so how we can judge the recur recurrence relation out of it so simple thing is this is recursive program function is calling itself right so say this program is taking t n time right so when we are calling it n minus 1 times so this will take t of n minus 1 time right and every time this n is getting multiplied means the this multiplication also will take some time to get multiplied with this function right so we can say it as some constant time it will take to get merged into the recur recurrence relation okay and this is the constant value means when value of n is 1 right so return 1 right so it will take order of 1 right means constant time this thing this part will take constant time right order of one i mean to say this part will take constant time whenever we are solving this algorithm this part will take t of n minus 1 time right and multiplying with n will take some constant time in the system right so recurrence relation will become we can write it as t of n if we are saying t of n is the recursive time so first we write always termination condition if n is 1 right if value of n is 1 right then terminate the program return 1 right right so this is recursive program return 1 and if n is not 1 right so what we have to do we have to solve a recurrence relation so in this case if n is greater than 1 right for factorial case so it will be t of n minus 1 plus this thing right this thing will take some constant time in the system plus c right some constant time right so this is how we converted what we converted simple rec recursive program into a recurrence relation right i have already given reference matrix chain multiplication and starson matrix multiplication that was proved like this on paper first right so now this is termination condition so relation we need to solve t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus c right means when this value become 1 right so we can terminate the program when this value become 1 so then we can write it as termination condition okay so as we have seen t of n minus 1 will become now t of n is t of n minus 1 plus c so t of n minus 1 will become t of n minus 2 plus c and this previous c will get retained here and t of n minus 2 will become t of n minus 3 plus c and these two c's of previous steps so which we can equivalently write t of n minus 3 plus 3c okay here 
n minus 2 plus 2c, n minus 3 plus 3c, right? This is how we can write, right? So if you want, I will write one more step. It will t of n minus 3 plus c. Now these three c's will, will come. c plus c plus c, right? Some constant time which was taken. So this will become t of n minus 4 plus 4c. So say this ran k times, right? k times. This k also is having a relation with stack actually. That we will see later. So first time it ran, it was n minus 1. Second time n minus 2. Third time n minus 3. Fourth time n minus 4. So k times this will become t of n minus k. And first time it was 1c, then 2c. 3c right 4c now this will become k times c now we have to figure out the value of k right so it is very simple i told n minus k i what i am trying to say if it ran k times that program got terminated this is the meaning of it. so if it ran k times the value became one right factorial became one so one factorial is one only Right, that means n is equal to k plus 1. Right, so I will write t of n is equal to k plus 1 minus k or directly you can write 1 actually. Right, plus k is equal to here is here if I replace k, so k is equal to n minus 1. Right, if you replace here n minus 1 times c. Right. So now this value became, now this value became t of 1 plus n minus 1 into c. t of 1 is 1, right? 1 plus n minus 1 into c, right? So this is simply you can write 1 plus n c minus c means some constant, right? If you want, I can write n c minus c anyway this is constant time only right so we can write it as it took value of order of n means whatever number you have entered that that much time that program has to run right and it can be written theta of n and omega of n but i have not taught that till now right if you want for your satisfaction i will write it can be written as theta of n but i have not taught that in the series so you can bear with it order of n means order of magnitude of n whatever number you have entered that many time it has to run okay so thanks for watching